John Pierpoint Morgan History Part 7 Somewhat similarly, the great mid-packing houses like Swift, which had 4,000 employees and Armour with 6,000, combined the business of raising, slaughtering, transporting and wholesaling meat. Swift developed a fleet of refrigerator railroad cars, which allowed it to bring cattle and hogs to a central packing house in Chicago, where the company could make use of every part of the animal except the squeal. When a company integrated horizontally, it expanded into related fields of business. In the 1815s, an iron furnace might produce a single product such as cast iron or nails, but US still produced a vast array of metal goods. During the last third of 19th century, the American economy was dramatically transformed after 30 years of periodic economic crisis marked by high unemployment and large number of business failures. Business began to consolidate into progressively larger economic units. Myth makers sometimes look back on the late 19th century as the golden age of free enterprise. But it is important to emphasize that the rise of a new economy did not take place easily. Working conditions in many factories were appalling. Labor conflict was intense. Businesses were accused of price fixing, stock watering and other abuses.